What's going on people, it's Donnie D and I'm back in the kitchen for another video recipe. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make restaurant quality keto Brussels sprouts. And personally, growing up, I hated Brussels sprouts because they weren't cooked properly. They were bitter, they were mushy, and simply didn't have a whole lot of flavor. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make quality Brussels sprouts. And what I deem as quality is a Brussels sprout that has some crispiness, some texture, some buttery, bacony, flavorful goodness. So if you're interested in seeing how I make keto style Brussels sprouts, keep watching this video and let's get to it. My personal preference on the bacon texture, I like it to be a little bit chewy, but fully cooked, but I don't like it super crispy, but you can cook the bacon to your preference. And you wanna get the Brussels sprouts ready to cook. You wanna make sure that you put the flat side down, the cut side down, and you just wanna spread them along the skillet. Try to move fast with this so you don't get an uneven cook. And just wanna let these cook about roughly, maybe three to four minutes, depending on the temperature of your skillet. My skillet is pretty warm. The leftover loose pieces, you want to keep those and you want to add those in after after the, the Brussels sprouts have, have started cooking. So you want to make sure you look for that brown color and to make sure that the uh, Brussels sprouts have some nice texture and color to them before you move them around. Add the bacon back into the skillet and I'm going to be adding in some garlic butter. The link in the description on this garlic butter, butter is in the yeah, description 60, box. 60 calories per tablespoon seven grams of fat, no carbs. So if you're on keto, your carbs are, wait, all right, no carbs on this. And you look at the ingredients, not a lot of hydrogenated oils, all just butter, salt, Parmesan cheese, skim milk, cheese culture, salt, pepper, garlic, spices, and milk. So these macro, the ingredients list is approved. All right, so we gotta throw a couple tablespoons on that, give it some extra fat. That's roughly one tablespoon there. Two tablespoons. What you guys can smell, it smells fantastic. So just keep the Brussels sprouts in the skillet not long enough to melt the butter and we're all set. Okay, we're all set. So this was a pretty quick and easy recipe. It just takes a little bit of attention to the details, especially with making sure that you don't overcook the Brussels sprouts, because in my opinion, that's what makes Brussels sprouts bitter, is overcooking them without any texture. So making sure that you get that nice golden brown texture on there, getting some of that crispy crunch on some of those, the little uh, leaves of the, I call them leaves, they may not be the technical name for them, but I call them like the, the little pieces that come off of the Brussels sprout, they get some crispiness to them. And I actually paired this up with some chicken. So you have a complete meal. This is actually chicken thighs. So if you're on keto, those will be perfect for you because you're looking for that head, that fattier content uh, from the meat, which gives it some flavor. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna talk your ear off, but oh yeah, for the mic the micros and the uh, the Brussels sprouts, that's what's really good for them for keto. They have a lot of potassium, they have a lot of magnesium in them. Again, those are two essential electrolytes for staying hydrated and making sure that you're hitting your goals for staying in ketosis, having those electrolytes. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to give it a quick taste, and I'm signing out. Mmm. I wonder if you can hear that. Can you hear that crunch? It's not, it's not sm soft. Mm-hmm. All right. I have to stop it for a quick second. I don't want to continue to chew in the camera. My wife always gets on me about that. So, I'm going to sign out. Give me some feedback. Hit those comment sections. Let me know what you think. Good, bad, indifferent. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some feedback. 
Subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell to get updated on when I upload new content. Again, this is Donnie D signing out. Till the next time, peace.